Welcome to our play, Alex and Alex. This play is found in our fourth grade language arts book. The play is like a dream that Alice and Alex have after they have been reading Alice's adventures in Wonderland. They meet some interesting creatures along the way, and some funny things happen to them in their dream. Sit back, and we hope you enjoy the play. Scene 1, The Twins' Room. Meet Alice and Alex. They're twins. They just moved to town. It's bedtime, and Alice is reading Alice's Adventures in Wonderland out loud to Alice. Their mother, their father comes in. The cat only grinned when it saw Alice. It looked good natured, she thought. Still, it had very loud claws and a great many teeth. Not much longer, you do. Tomorrow's your first day, and it's going right eye and push your tail. Come on, just one more page. No, one more chapter. Five more minutes, then lights out. Still, it had very loud claws and a great many teeth. Scene two, at the school. The next thing Alice and Alex know, it's Monday morning, and they're at their new school. Alice, there's no one else here. Hello, is anyone else here? Suddenly a small white-haired man with a pink nose rushes by. Oh dear, dear, I shall be too late. The small man pulls a watch from his pocket and checks it. He hears on. <coughs> Quick, let's call that guy. The twins chase the man down the hall. Mister, hey mister. Yo, dude. Excuse me. Oh, there you go. Listen, Susan, you too, George. I need four gallons of lemonade right away. Um, I think you have us confused with some other children. Don't be silly now. Who are you? No, really. We're new here. Who are you? Mr. Lab, of course. Let's see. New students. Then you'll have to go to the main office. How do we get there? Follow the signs. Mr. Lab, please. This school's weird. Yeah, weird is a weird. Who said you? Who said that? I did up here. Alice and Alice look up and see, it's, and see a boy standing on a tall chair grinning. I'm Chester Cat, the hall monitor. Do you know which way we're supposed to go? That depends on where you're trying to get to. The main office. You can go left or you can go right. What's the difference? One's left and one's right. You mean both ways leads to the main office? Sure, if you walk far enough. Are you trying to confuse us? Not at all. I'm trying to help. The twins look around trying to decide which way to go. When I look back at Chester, he has disappeared. There's a big grin on the wall where he once stood. Alex, that grin was in the book I was reading last night. The treasure cat disappears except for its grin. Yeah, yeah, but now what? Alice walks over to a little door. A sign on the doorknob says, open me. Hey, check it out, a sign. Alice opens the door. Whoa, it's dark in there. But I'm still going in. Alice steps through the doorway and Alex hears. Yikes, I'm falling. Alice, are you okay? Still falling. You see? You sound pretty calm about it. Still falling. Whoops. Hey, I just had a humongous pile of marshmallows. Really? Would I lie to you? Maybe. Come on down. Okay, if you say so. Scene three, the lunchroom. Alex lands next to Alice on a pile of huge marshmallows in the corner of a large lunchroom. Look. Look, we're not the only people here. Call those people? The one with the stack of hats. That's a boy, I think. That's a boy next to him, the one with the rabbity face and pointy ears. Oh, what's that sleeping on the table between them? It looks like a giant mouse. Alice and Alex walk over to the table. Hi, I'm Alice, and this is my twin brother, Alex. What's with the mouse? This isn't any mouse. This is Dora Mouse. She's in third grade. Wake up, Dora. I'm our chair, and this is my head, and I'll go away. There's no room for me. What do you mean? There's plenty of room. The twins sit down at the table. Matt turns to Alice and looks at her hair. You need a haircut. And you're rude. Well, why is a rape on the writing desk? Is that a riddle? I bet I can guess. You mean you think you can figure out the answer? Definitely. You shall say it, mean. I do. At least I mean what I say. That's the same thing. No, no, no. Well, you might as well just say, I see what I 
I see what I eat is the same thing as I eat what I see. Oh dear, Jora's asleep again. So have you guessed the riddle yet? No, we have all, what's the answer? I have no idea. Don't you have anything better to do than ask riddles that have no answer? What a waste of time. If you knew time as well as I do, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. It's him. I don't get it. Of course you don't. You probably never even talk to time. You have? Yes, yeah, you're very good friends until they quarrel. Bless Marsh has squeezed settled. Simpson, I won't do anything I ask. It's always new now. Is that why the table is set for lunch? Yes, that's it. It's always lunchtime and there's no time to clean the table. See? So you keep moving around the table, right? Exactly how things get used up. But what happens when we get back to the beginning again? We must get disgusting. Now who's the rude one? Let's change the subject. I want the door tells us a story. Wake up, girl. I wasn't sleeping and I have already said. Tell us a story. Once upon a time there are two twins, a boy and a girl. Twins, yeah, let's all have some more milk. We haven't had any, so we can't have more. I mean you can't have less. It's very easy to have more than nothing. If you two can't behave, I won't finish the story. Sorry, go ahead. So these two twins are at the bottom of the well. What do they eat? Honey. I want a new car to move. Let's change places. Everyone stands up and moves one seat to the left. I don't get it. Where did they get the honey? There's a honey bell. Ha ha ha. That's so funny. I forgot to laugh. Suddenly Miss Queen bursts in the lunchroom. She's wearing a dress with red hearts all over it. A noisy gang follows her. There they are. Grab that. Wait, is she talking about us? Someone has stolen bloody sandwiches deal with all under the rest. Off with the pet. But we didn't do it. Oh, we we'll get them. But we didn't do it. Do you like bologna sandwiches? Well, sure, but... Just that I got guilty, guilty, guilty. Grab that. A big guy in a football helmet grabs Alice. A guy in a catcher's ass grabs Alice. Your, your heads are our heads now. No help! Get this creep off me. Off with your heads. <laughs> off with your heads. Scene for the twins room. It's morning in the twins bedroom. Wake up, sleepy heads, wake up. Alice and Alex open their eyes. They are safe at home. The book, the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland lies open on the floor. You'll be late for school if you don't, alright. I had the weirdest dream. I bet mine was weirder. Oh yeah, did yours have a talking mouse in it? Yes, as a matter of fact. And a uh, disappearing call monitor? Yeah, how did you know? Let's just say I read the book. The end.